It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buccaneers and the Lions. All that and more coming up next. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Detroit Lions. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. Always seems like we're rehashing the same storylines. Turnovers, of course, always a big story. Quarterback play, running backs, yada, yada, yada. But getting ready for this one, one word kept coming to mind, and that's preparation. Well, it's critical to be prepared physically, mentally. When you think about getting ready for an NFL game, you have to wonder, what will they throw at us that maybe we haven't seen before? two-minute drill, maybe different things like that. Got to be prepared. You're exactly right. Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. Here's Devin Tompkins on the return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. Orchestrating the offense will be the top pick in the 2018 draft, and that's Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Now Mayfield, and that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. Now inside the 25, Chris Godwin, touchdown, Tampa Bay! Chris Godwin, 79 yards. And the Bucs are on the board first here this afternoon. One play in the end zone on the long touchdown pass. You knew they wanted to get him involved. He's their go-to guy. First play, though, wow. Yeah, and I remember when I was playing, something similar happened. I remember getting to the sideline and my coach said, so what in the scouting report with circling him, putting a star by him, did you not What'd get you miss? <laughs> that he was a good player? And that's the question I would have for them now. You know, as you said, he's a go-to guy. How is he not covered? Now I should say, covered well. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down. Run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up Ford. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer. Exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mayfield now. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it brings up third and five now. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing. Mayfield. He's going to look deep for more. That is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. A fourth down. Here's Jay Camarda on the punt for the box. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. There to stop it was Carlton Davis. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that if they have to pump the ball, they've done so with that first run. Second and seven. Golf. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. So the pass goes out of bounds, but he was not outside of the tackle box when he threw that. He's got to be careful. You and I both know if it's even close, they're going to give it to the quarterback. They don't want to throw that flag unnecessarily. So if you're just in the area, you're going to be okay. Throwing on third. Golf. That's taken in. Complete to Reynolds. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Back to throw. Golf. That's caught. It's Sam LaPorta. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. 
Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Play action. It's gone. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Montgomery on the counter. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. From the 31, here's second and two. A shotgun snap for Goff. Throw left side to Reynolds. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. Montgomery back to the ground. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Yeah, the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Here's Goff. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverage. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Goff on first down. And he comes back with one complete. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better than right here. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Montgomery. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? 
On second down, here's Goff. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the gun, here's Goff. That's to the pylon and incomplete. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. A 21-yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. football to start the second half and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. Well out of the locker rooms here they come their first drive of the third quarter and Charles they're trailing in this ball game but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know partner in the NFL there's trailing and there's trailing right sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down but in this case this is a tight ball game so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going. On first and ten, golf. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's Goff now on second down. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Let's go, get 
Third down and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And a loss of three to bring up four. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. A well-hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Play fake. Mayfield. The pass is caught by Kate Otten. First target, first catch, and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Mayfield on first down. A quick pass here to Godwin. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, they'll run with White. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' seven-yard line. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. Give him 58 yards on the ground. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's White. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. They stay on the ground with White. A great move, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive game, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now Mayfield on third and goal. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. David Moore, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. But that makes this a two-score ball game. And, you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, it's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? And points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. 
Here's Raymond bringing it out. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. On first down, gone. That is caught by Laporta. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly and they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Goff now to throw. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Now a play fake, and it's gone. He wants Reynolds way downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Again, golf. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught inside the five. Well, they are not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. Here's first and goal. They'll fake the give. Now golf. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. So the deficit now three after the huge conversion, but they need to get the football back. So this is where special teams really comes into play because getting the ball back, it starts with this next kickoff. How do they get downfield, either jar it loose or get the ball back themselves? That's going to be key for them. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. And they will take a knee here. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout.